Hey guys, it's Vivian, and today I want to show you my morning skincare routine. So I already have my face on for today, but what I decided to do is I really want to do this skincare routine for you guys. So I sat down and I was like, hey, I'll be home for a while before I have to head out again later. So why not just film it and take off my base makeup here at the table in front of the camera and then just show you what products I use and how I apply them. I think that would be really fun and just like do a little chit chat with you guys. I have here a big bowl of water because I know I'll be talking a lot. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not going to drink this and no, it's not for hand washing. It's uh, for my face cloth. I'm going to wet it and cleanse off my face. Let's do this, shall we? With taking off makeup, I usually do double cleanse. But since this is a morning skincare routine, I'm just going to tell you what I use in the morning these days. The CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. This one's perfect, especially during the colder months. It really helps hydrate the skin without stripping it. And it cleanses really well. So I love this for the morning time. And this works out because if I have time... I want to film another video and I need my base makeup off for that. I'll clip my hair back for you guys, but let me just tuck this behind my ears. Um, circular motions. I like to use the middle finger and the ring finger. Well, both of them, both sides. So today, sorry, that's, that's my Alexa. I never said Alexa. I said so today, but then she's like, boom. She always does that. This nail polish though, I am in love with this. I've been on the hunt for this exact color for a long time. I have a bunch of Essie polishes that are nudes, but none of them really match what I was really looking for. I was browsing the store the other day and on the shelf, I was like, I think that's it. I think that's it. So I got it and I tried it on last night and it's perfect. I love it. I was looking for this exact shade, very creamy, opaque, white but not stark white with a pink undertone check out l'oreal boho babe in 235 um it's great i do need to apply two coats the first coat is quite sheer so by the second coat it's perfection so you can just go right in with your one morning cleanser but i'm just gonna quickly wipe off this cc cream for you so here it is. With face cloths, it's really important to keep them clean. So I like to have a couple of face cloths on rotation and I just put them in the wash um, every couple of days. The oil cleanser pretty much took off everything already. There's no trace of makeup on here anymore after the second cleanse. Um, plus CC cream so light that usually like the oil makeup just completely melts it off. But I like to do a double cleanse anyways because, um, you know, I usually have sunscreen on. So right after cleansing, the first step, I like to go in with my eye cream. And uh, these days, I've really been liking this one that I've discovered maybe like two years back. But I've been trying out like different eye creams. Switched back to this recently and really love it. It uh, is very creamy and it's great for anybody who has more of a drier under eye area, I would say. This one is very light, like even though it's very buttery, but it's not gonna be like Emilia prone. And I just like to dab. Dab, 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 dab. Like I said, I'm keeping this eye makeup on. I'm heading out tonight to the Christmas market. Um, oh man, like I've been looking forward to it. It's an annual thing in Toronto till... December 23rd, so just right before Christmas. And then going with my toner, today I'm going to use my Shiseido Ibuki Softening Concentrate. Now with a lot of Asian skincare, they like to call toners a softening concentrate or a softener. You rarely see them call it a toner. So um, if you see a softening product, that's a toner in the Asian skincare world. So Shiseido is one of my favorite skincare lines. They make amazing products. Um, it's my first skincare line that I ever tried when I was 13. My mom is a big fan of Shiseido. She used it all her life. And so when um, I was introduced to skincare when I was 13, she 
got me the Shiseido Pureness line, which is for younger skin. That was what I used in my preteens um, and throughout my teenage years. And then, you know, I can tell my skincare journey in another video. It's a gel like texture. So you pump it out. And I just like to do this to warm up the product a bit. And then I pat it on my skin like so, you know. And of course, usually I'll like pat it up here as well, just all over the skin. Um, and then I might take another pump and then just warm it in my palms. And then I hold it on my skin like that for a couple of seconds. And this will help. This will really help with absorption. Now, I don't always just stick to one skincare routine. I really listen to my skin and um, depending on what my skin needs that day, I switch it up. I use different products. So some days I use this the past week and I've also been using this guy. This is the Hadalabo Shadow June Arbitin Toner. Um, it's great. Since it contains Arbitin, it really helps with maintaining spots, hyperpigmentation. For me, the big thing is whenever I do break out, um, I get marks left over and they eventually fade, but it takes time. It usually takes a couple months, but if you use a product that contains Arbitin, it will speed up the process. So something like this, you know, it already started fading. I don't know if it even shows up. Like right here, I recently broke out right there. You can see. Um, so things like that, just maintain it with an Arbitin product starts fading um this one is more watery than the ibuki so you can choose to use a cotton round if you wish but to me i just like to pour it into my hand and let my skin absorb it all you know because if you put it on a cotton round nothing wrong with that but at the same time it absorbs a lot of product so it's really personal preference i know some people like to use cotton rounds for watery products. After a toner, in the morning, I like to go in with an essence. You can get like a variety of those products that target different skin concerns, whether it's dry skin, um, aging skin, textures, acne, Misha, the Time Revolution, the first treatment essence intensive. I love this product. It's not a product that you put on and then it changes your skin immediately. It doesn't, it doesn't give you like obvious immediate results, but it's one of those maintenance products that I really like in my routine. So I keep using it and it also helps with hydrating the skin, which I really need because I do have dry skin. And, you know, here in Toronto in the fall and winter time, it gets really dry. So I've recommended this product to many friends and family, all of them always came back and said how much they enjoyed the product. So it's it's a really popular one. It's a dupe for the SK2 water. So if you've always had your eye on the SK2 and you're just not quite sure because of the price tag, you can check this one out. This is like a fraction of the price. As you guys can see, it's very watery. Again, I don't use a cotton round for this. I just pour it into my hand. And then after an essence, I like to go in with... An emulsion. So an emulsion is a lighter version of a moisturizer. And this one, like you saw before, is by Hadalabo. It's the same line as this toner I just told you about. It's a Shiro June Arbitin emulsion. I really like Hadalabo packaging. Like it's these squeeze bottles, but it's not crazy. Like it never comes out like that. It's just, it never comes out crazy. You know, these bottles are great. No, I'm filming. I'm filming. Answer this. Chella. It's a really controlled squeeze bottle. Get the right amount that you need. So I just pat it around like so, and then I just pat it on my skin. Do, do, do. <laughs> You know how I thought about filming this video earlier? So I was like, maybe I should apply my skincare sitting right next to my skincare cabinet, right out of the bathroom, like in the morning when I'm done brushing my teeth, washing my face. I come straight to the cabinet. Like I don't go anywhere else. This is the first spot. And I start 
slapping on my skincare. So I was like, maybe I should just film myself like sitting on the floor, slapping on my skincare right there. <laughs> but then I was like, that would be kind of weird too. So I decided to, whoa, whoa, splash water everywhere. Oh yes. After emulsion, I like to go in with a serum. I don't Serums are one of my favorite skincare products. It's one of those products that you don't really see the effects of it when your skin is in a good state. You know, it just seems like a very normal product. It helps with hydration. But what I love it for is when my skin needs a little bit more of that TLC, um, skin recovery. Back in January, I went to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, and when I came back, my skin freaked out. I think it was the sunscreen that I was using on that trip. Um, so it gave me these tiny, tiny bumps along the jawline. And so was, I got all these textures. And so I came home and I knew that right away I need to go back to basics. I need to really turn to skincare that's very minimal but offers that like hydration that I need. So I tried a bunch of products, but then I narrowed it down to a few that really helps me. This is the Misha Time Revolution Vitality One Serum. It's amazing for that. This plus snail skincare is the perfect duo for skin texture. So Misha makes really great products. I find myself like just looking at my um, routine and looking in my cabinet back there, I have quite a bit of Misha products. They make great products all across the board. Just if you think of different categories in skincare, they have an outstanding one pretty much in all categories like face masks, um, essences, serums, sunscreen, which I will be showing you next. And so it comes with a pump like this and then just like put a pump looks like this. It's a very light lotion, a little kind of like gel-like texture. Anyway, um, I was talking about the Christmas market earlier. And so it starts tonight, when I, which I am so excited. Tonight, I have a phone call with my friend. I know we schedule a call. <laughs> Afterwards, it's Christmas market. And I don't think it's going to be that busy yet because it's Thursday and um, it's the first night. Um, if you're in the Toronto GTA area, check it out. But I recommend avoiding Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Here's the thing, guys. I love it. I really do like the event. I like being in the middle of it all. And um, just the feeling of Christmas, you know, it really brings that vibe. It's like, oh, Christmas is almost here type feeling. Um, but there are negative points that come with being in the middle of it all. <laughs> You're just constantly in this chaos. <laughs> it's so busy. Like I said, on certain days, it feels like the whole city just gathers here. And the traffic outside, it takes me about, no joke, 10 minutes to get out of my parking garage. Um, normally, it takes one, you know. To come up and drive out uh, but because there's so many people so many cars it literally takes you 10 minutes just imagine taking 10 minutes to get out of your driveway every single time you want to go somewhere and take your car out from now until Christmas yes that's how I feel but hey you just got a budget more time right anyway this next product is a moisturizer this is the Coast RX advanced stale 92 all-in-one cream Okay, every time I put this on, I am like on cloud nine because this feels like a cloud. So it's a really light, ooh, this is awkward. Just put it right there. I'm like, twist my arm. Can you see it? I really like gel type moisturizer. And even though it's gel type, it's moisturizing enough for my dry skin. Now, I would say for most of the year, it is. In January, it gets really cold and really dry here in Toronto. So in January, I might pair this with another cream or I just switch to another cream. But for most of the year, this is moisturizing enough, surprisingly. Usually, 
um, the thicker the moisturizer, the creamier, the more hydrating it is. So you wouldn't think like a gel type like this would be moisturizing enough, but it is. And every time I put it on, it's just so soft and moisturized and oh man, I love it. Every time I put it on, I fall back in love with it. So I need to get another one because as you guys can see, I am very low on it now. So this is definitely a top recommendation. After my moisturizer, I always like to put on my sunscreen. So it doesn't matter if my moisturizer has SPF in it or not. If it does, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. And this is the All Around Safe Block Essence Sun with an SPF of 45. This, the pink bottle is the one I always get. It just works great for me. Um, it applies well. It doesn't have the sunscreen scent. It doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't start rolling. You guys know what I mean. Sometimes you put on a product and then you layer another product on top and it starts rolling. You get these little balls on your skin and then you're like, what the heck? And you have to wipe it all off and then start all over. You know, that, that feeling sucks. You know, I really want to thank you guys for your support. I'm definitely better than the first week. You know, the first week I was a wreck. Like, I couldn't even step out of the house without feeling like I'm just going to burst into tears. He, he is such a... Was. Was. Ah. I always talk about him in present tense still. You know, I think it's, it's going to take time to, like, adjust and change. You guys remember when I had uh, my Vieste look line? My Vieste look box? Oh, excuse me. My throat just make this weird sound. Um... And Riley was my customer service manager. It's us on the computer. And of course, he gets the big iMac. <laughs> and we're just working away, you know? He's answering you guys' emails. <laughs> and this was his um, employee card, customer service manager mugshot. <laughs> How cute, right? We actually had this on the website. Uh, when uh, Vieste Look website was up, it's no longer up anymore. But we had this and then his title was customer service manager. <laughs> oh man, I miss him. Let me know down below what you like to use in the morning. I always am so curious, you know, I want to try out what other people love as well. So let me know and I'll catch you very soon in my next one. Bye.